All right, guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. This is what I wanted to try. I wanted to try some rolling resistance for the Ram Man. The difference between blocking. So it'll be that is locked. That's free and that's locked. Whatever it says locked, free. Anyway, I'm installing these on the truck, on the 4th gen, on the drunken ram. So this is what we got here. This is how I'm going to test it. So, <laughs> I have this. This wheel is basically locked with the wire. This way it can turn the drive shaft and everything. So this wheel will be locked. And I'll do the same thing once I stick the new one on. So, as you can see, I'm not going to show you any of that, but you can see why I'm doing this. Because when the, both wheels are on the ground and spinning, the drive shaft spins. The uh, half shafts spins, the differential spins, yada yada yada. Yee. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll try to get this straight up as I can, which is not going to work. Anyway, I have the axle, the wheel is at 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, rock, 4, 6, 9. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to check this, how much, how many inch pounds it takes to rotate this. So it hasn't spun, it's just taking up all the slack. So we have 10 inch pounds going up to 20. So starting to spin. So it looks like we got 30, 30 inch pounds if I were to just keep spinning this and spinning it. We're sitting about 30, 30 inch pounds of rotational force. So now let me turn it and see. We'll see if I can't turn it or not. Hold on. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Maybe I'll just turn it with the steering wheel. Let's see if I can't. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Okay. So that'll be wheel full locked. Oh, hit my drum. Break. So. I'm just, just doing a test run. Feels about the same. Maybe a little more. So I'm trying to get it to, oh yeah, that's a, that's a lot more. Well, not a lot, 40, 40 inch pounds to spin it. That looks like 40 something right there. Hard to do this, but oh boy, oh boy, that looks about like 50. Oh man, that's that's about 50. Let's just call it. Let's just call it 50 because that was about 55. Nah, let's call it 45. So 45 turned 30 straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change this. Uh, wheel bearing to the locking unlocking style and uh, we'll do another measurement so I will be back for that all right guys it's gonna be kind of hard to do but I'm gonna attempt it anyway so it's mounted in the vise there's barely barely any pressure on the vise just to keep it from rocking around so I'm gonna see Looks like we only have about, man, it's about 18, 18 inch pounds of, of rolling resistance. Um, yeah, maybe eight, 18 inch pounds. That's about, that's about it. It's going to 20, but it's about 18 inch, 18 inch pounds. 
that's the old wheel bearing so um, I tested the new wheel bearing on the truck and obviously it's new so we're gonna stick this one in there in the vise and uh, show you guys what that one's like it's a lot stiffer so uh, we'll have to do a, a real test locked unlocked test which I've already done and I already know the results but we'll do it on video alright uh, I'll be back let me set the new one in there alright I have the new wheel bearing Tim Kim wheel bearing and it is tight so we'll just do regular just a little load test on it and we're about 32 inch pounds on this beast what is that showing so maybe 38 so I'm just rotating it nice and slow this one does not spin freehand so yeah let's call let's call that 38 inch pounds of force and uh running in everything all right now let's come over here to the truck and check this out oh I need the, I need the wheel lock so this is gonna be two videos guys if you guys don't know go check out the install video of it and then this is just the uh, testing testing it uh, testing the capabilities of it and uh, the potential of fuel mileage so stick this on here and uh, as you can see it's spinning drive shaft is not spinning stub shaft is not spinning oh, man. and we have the same roughly the same 38 inch pounds of rotational force so let's call it 38 now let's lock it get everything else spinning see it engaged so we're pushing uh, about 50 50 inch pounds of rotation you can see it's a lot harder you can see the drive shafts spinning this whatever stub shaft is spinning so we're we're sitting about 50 inch pounds so from locked to unlock see nothing spinning so we're like 38 so as you can tell compared to oh this fell compared to the uh, wheel bearing to wheel bearing new versus old you have about 20 inch pounds of more rotational pull compared to the uh, new wheel bearing and uh, with it locked we're sitting about 12 inch pounds or more and uh, yeah so definitely gonna see some uh, MPG increase with these so uh, these are spacers that they use um, to keep it cool so anyway it's all installed um, it's not all installed um, go check out my previous video last video go to the playlist look at that video and you can see the uh, installation process it's pretty pretty easy um, I won't show the other side because the other side I got to change a u-joint this u-joint I already changed so anyway guys thanks for watching subscribe do what you guys do and uh, if you do want to purchase this you just uh, refer me um, or you can message me 
and uh, get the referral number. I'm not going to post it unless people are serious about buying them. Then I can give you a referral, but mostly you can just call them. Call them. There's their number. I have a card right here. Call them. It's the Ram Man. His name is Wayne. Ramaninc.com. Call that number. It's easier to call the number. Um, if you buy them on eBay, you got to pay shipping and you got to pay tax. If you don't buy them on eBay and you buy them directly through them by calling the number, you get to save a hundred and something dollars in tax and uh, the $35 shipping. So I would highly recommend calling them. And then, uh, if, like I said, if you want them, email me or message me and I'll message you back and give you my phone number and my full name on there and this way you can you can buy them and you send in a video of them you get hundred dollars off and then i get a hundred dollars for referring them all right guys thanks for watching subscribe comment thank you later